And working through their email lists, they were sending emails to her office that whole day, uh, or sending emails to their people that day saying, call Senator McCaskill, tell her, you know, she's nuts on this. We knew, we know, that Senator, she's famous for being a Twitterer. If you watch Senator McCaskill in, uh, in uh, committee hearings, she's like this the whole time. I don't know how she knows how to vote because she's always like this the whole time. And so we knew that that was going to be the secret weapon in this particular thing. And so, again, it was me in a coffee shop and my colleague in his living room in Georgetown with our laptops, and we started talking to her on Twitter, sending her our news release, sending her the link to the radio show, and that was retweeted, it must have been thousands of times, and the Second Amendment community was mad at her, the gay left was mad at her, and the Twitter universe was going nuts. And she was trying to respond to people from this committee hearing. And I'm thinking, okay, at the very least, we lost yesterday, but we're giving her a bad day. So, and we have an election issue. Uh, get her on guns when she's up for re-election. But, the long story short, because I know we're running out of time, we, we have to keep it short. The long story short is we were able to mobilize the conservative community for the amendment, and then when we blasted McCaskill, but then we were also able to undermine her, uh, undermine her base uh, in that, in that uh, uh, the day after exclamation. We gave her a bad day. By the end of the day, the senator's office had released a formal statement I'm a guy in a coffee shop on the Hill, and I have a senator's office responding to what we're doing because of Twitter. And the New York Times reported on it. So we win because we gave her a bad day, we got an election issue, and we got a news article. And that was all done in a matter of 24 hours, that, that last part that we built up going forward. But that's my story uh, of an example of how we used essentially free technology to mobilize and build our organization. I mean, I can't tell you through that several week process how many people signed up to our database and followed us on Twitter and joined our Facebook groups and watched our YouTube video. It, it's just, uh, especially working with all the other organizations, you know, how you can, how you can end up uh, doing a lot with a little. Thank you very much, Jimmy. Um, you